Welcome back to my vlog, Sydney Unplugged. I attended Disability Advocacy Day in Madison, Wisconsin. It's a day-long event focused on connecting self-advocates with their legislators to talk about issues that matter to them. It's important for our legislators to hear from us and to hear stories about real-life experiences from people with disabilities. At this year's Advocacy Day, the Self-Determination Channel broadcasted live. I was a roaming reporter and went around and talked to people who were attending the event. I also covered the rally outside the Capitol where Ashley and other self-advocates led the crowd in cheers. We put together a recap for you. Take a look. Hi, we are live at Disability Advocacy Day and we are walking to the Capitol and self-advocates are going to talk to their legislators about well, issues that are important to self-advocates. Are you guys excited to talk to your legislators? I yes. always am. Listening to us is basically not just in their job description, it is their job description. That's perfect. What issues are important to you? Well, one of them, one of them is special education because I remember I, when I was in there, they didn't have what they they should have had back in the day when I was in school. Basically, education and also jobs. Jobs is the only way uh, Wisconsin will ever be able to function as a community. Thank you. Are you excited to talk with your legislator? Yes, I'm so excited. <laughs> what issues are important to you? Not the caregiving crisis needs to change. Yeah, we need more care. Yeah, it's a very <laughs> exciting day. Yes, I'm very excited. <laughs> what do you like about Disability Advocacy Day? I love to see all the people that get a chance to come to Madison and tell their story directly with their legislator and connect with each other. I like that part too. Yeah, it's good to see you here. Yeah. I'm a self-advocate in Southern Wisconsin. I work for People First Wisconsin and the ARC Wisconsin and I'm on BPDD board. I think it's important to be an advocate so that things get changed that need to be changed and um, people with disabilities have rights. Hi, Dan. Um, hello, hello. Are you excited for Disability Advocacy Day? Yes, I am. I'm very excited. What issues are you going to talk to your legislators about? Probably my job and probably transportation mostly. That's awesome. Thank you. Hi, Josh. What up, Cindy? Are you excited for Disability Advocacy Day? I am very excited. It's been three years since we've been here and I'm ready to go see the senators again, so it's quite nice. What do you want to talk about? Um, right now I want to talk about some transportation, some other topics that I'm interested in. So we'll get in there and we'll do our job and hopefully the senators will listen to us today. Thank yeah. you. Like Josh said, it's been three years since Disability Advocacy Day has been in person. Since the pandemic, we've been meeting over Zoom with our legislators. My favorite part of the day was seeing how many people were excited to go meet with their legislators. I talked to my representative and my senator about non-driver transportation, how 31% um, of people that live in Wisconsin are non-drivers and how there is not enough public transportation in rural areas. And I also talked to them about voting issues. There was a lot of restrictive voting bills this past year for people with disabilities and a lot of misinformation out. And things are finally starting to get better with the Wisconsin Disability Vote Coalition doing more advocacy around that. And I talked about special education funding increase. I believe the governor has proposed increasing it from 30% to 60%. And special education is really important for a lot of people, a lot of students in the state. Let's go back to the live event. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Sydney. Are you excited for Disability Advocacy Day? I am very excited for Disability Advocacy Day. A little nervous, too, if I'm honest, but... Oh, I'm in I it. Want to get started. What I want to talk about no, most is support for our natural support yeah, so, like, providers out there. So our family members and siblings, um, because that's who I rely on the most for getting around and being part of commu my community. So, well, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. It's a lot colder than previous years when we've done this. <laughs>
Are you excited to talk to your legislator today? I am. I am. Thank you. What issues do you want to talk to them about? Well, I watched uh, training on disability, and I made mine a personal issue that pertains to access for people who want to live independently and the lack of handicapped access across the state of Wisconsin. So I made mine to help not only myself, but millions of other people who live with ambulatory disabilities that would like to be able to be independent. So I say to independence. Awesome, thank you. Hi Ashley, what are you doing today? I am um, doing chants for Disability Advocacy Day. I'm really excited and I hope to get the crowd going and um, get everyone loud. We can't wait to hear your cheers. Thank you. Hi. Hey. Are you excited to come today? I'm very excited. This is my first time. Awesome. What do you want to talk to your legislature about? I want to talk to legislature about um, the transportation for mental health. Like they transport them from all over to different mental health hospitals. And um, when I was a teenager, they shackled me in the back of a cop car to take me. I was in the car for six hours. So that's what I want to talk about is the trauma from um, transportation. Hi, I'm Ashley Matthew. I'm going to do some cheers. So you guys ready? Community first is a way to go. Community first is a way to go. In the first, in us. In the first, in us. us. Que queremos? Libertad. Que queremos? Libertad. Where do we want it? At home. At home. When do we want it? Now. Oh, yeah. All right, is everybody ready to go to your legislators? After the rally, it was time to talk to our legislators. Like I said before, it's important for our legislators to hear directly from people with disabilities. The good news is you don't have to wait until next year's Disability Advocacy Day to talk to your legislator. You can call or email your legislator anytime. What issue is important to you? Share it in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in to Sydney Unplugged. Next time, I'll fill you in on what's happening on the farm. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel.